What up, Black and Blue fam? Welcome to the Black and Blue Review, where we break down the good, the bad, and the ugly of police interaction videos to give you a better understanding what cops do or what they should be doing out there on the streets. My name is Dale, and I'm a police officer out here in California with over 25 years experience in the business. I'm joined today like I am on every Black and Blue Review by a non-law enforcement member of the community to help us break down today's video. So, uh, Black and Blue fam, help me welcome to the Black and Blue Review, my dude, Gerardo. What's going on, brother? How you feeling? Good, good. How are you doing, Dale? Oh, man, I cannot complain, cannot complain. It's a, another beautiful day in the neighborhood. How you feeling? Good, not so tired. It was my day off today, so fortunately, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. Yes, yes, uh, I had to work today, but uh, hey, I'm, I'm committed to this, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bring on a video, and we're going to talk about it, and hopefully you can give your perspective. Today's video, as you see down there on the, on the title, down there below us is Police Stop a Man from Breaking into His Own Truck. I don't know if you call that breaking into, <laughs> breaking into a truck or anything, but uh, this happened in Detroit, Michigan, so uh, let's take a look at it, and uh, let's get your thoughts on it. Here we go. He was getting his own. Let him go. Let him go. They already tried. Let him go. Hey, let him go. Weak as hell. Yo, weak as hell. Hey, man. You ain't got to do my cousin, man. Hey, we going to police that bitch out. Hey, man. As you can see right there in the in the video, there's uh, a bunch of people uh, wrestling with police. You see one guy there. That's uh, let's see if I can get over that. This guy right here is grabbing onto another police officer into a police officer's back there. <laughs> Trying to pull him off with a guy. So he saw better of it and he let go. <laughs> Again, this is breaking news. We did uh, speak with a family member out there today. He did tell us uh, that the, the reason that this all started is that the 34-year-old you see getting arrested there was actually trying to get his own keys out of his own locked car. Uh, when Detroit police officers passed by, apparently may have looked suspicious, and that's how this all unfolded. That witness, the family member we talked to, said that uh, several other family members tried to intervene, tried to tell police and straighten things out, and then it, of course, escalated. So what, what, what do you think about uh, what you saw so far from that? Well, you, you really have to see it from the beginning, from how the incident began. But because um, I think that being the case, the, the vehicle owner should have just, you know, let it get straightened out, check the vehicle, you know, there might be so forth instead of fighting against the cops. I, I think, you know, I think that will just... It's my car. You can check, you know, okay, I'll yeah. whatever, follow the orders instead of letting it um, get to that point. Yeah. Person. I mean, because I had locked my car, my car keys, you know, um, nothing, nothing. I mean, fortunately, there wasn't a cop coming by or anything like that. But, but if that had been the case, follow the orders, you know, look, officer, it's my car. Um, once we get in the car, you can, you can see the registration. Here's my ID, blah, blah, blah. And so, and so, right. I, I right. don't know what happened at the beginning. Yeah. So, but, so yeah, yeah. Good thing you, you did mention that. So, uh, Hey, let's take a look at, uh, uh another video here and see if that, uh, changes anything for you here. Uh, their arrest happened last week. Cell phone video of it went viral. Victor Williams following this story as police say they hope that the body camera video now helps set the record straight. I can't just roll past you trying to give me a window and not do something. You know what I mean? Patrolling police officers stop in front of a car on East State Fair to speak to a man trying to use a Slim Jim to get inside. That's Larry Morrison. The car he's trying to get into is his own vehicle. But I can't just roll past you trying to give me a window right. and not do something, you know what I mean? I not verify it's your truck. Right. You can verify from this. This is this my truck. I'm actually just trying to get the pole out of here. I wasn't even trying to get it open no more. I'm about to call AAA. Okay. What's your name, boss? Oh, I ain't about to do nothing. 
I'm not telling you my name. I told you. I'll answer questions. Okay, sir, you have to tell me your name. I don't have to tell you. You nothing. do have to tell me. I don't have name. to tell you my name. I'm, you am do. I under arrest? You're detained right now, yes. No, I'm not. For what? You are. Because of, from what it looks like, you're trying to break into this car. And, and he telling you this is my car. They telling you this is so, my car. This is my family, so, bro. I'm give not, me your name, listen, and I'm I can verify that. I'm not verifying nothing. Okay. Bro, you ain't gotta give him your name. I'm not giving him nothing. They know that. He, I just told him that. I just, I just got out of the car and locked my keys. My man. Man, don't, don't, don't touch me, bro. My man. Don't touch me, bro. My man. Don't touch me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Don't touch me. Put your hands. Don't touch me. Stop. All right, and, and, and we know how everything uh, transpired from there. So, so what do you think about what you saw there, how it all started? That's a different um, situation or it's the same one? That's the same situation. So, yeah, that's the same guy. And it, it spilled over into that, you know, onto yeah. that porch. So, yeah. It, again, it's, it's the same thing where, you know, the cops don't have to get so aggressive because obviously he's still trying to get in while they're there in front of him. But sometimes I guess you just need to follow instructions again. Check the license plate. Here's my ID. You'll see that the car comes up registered to me. You know, and always, I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of videos where you don't have to give your name if, you know, if you're not under arrest. You don't have to do this if, you're, if you haven't committed a crime, which I understand that being the case. But in order to not escalate things, you know, check the license plate number. You'll see it comes up registered to my name. Here's my ID. That that part yeah. right there. That that's what I was getting at. So yeah, you 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 don't have to you know give your name. It, you, you're under no obligation unless you're driving or something like that, or you're under arrest or whatever, um, to give your to give your name. So he didn't have to give the name. Um, easier said than done. Where people say, hey, just just give your name. Don't fight with you know. Again, you don't have to. But what he could have said is, hey, check the license plate. You'll see it comes back to me, or there was a whole group of people saying, This exactly. is his yes. truck. <laughs> this is his yes. truck, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's what I said. The cops didn't have to be, he's, he's continuing to try to get into the car while they're in front of him. So, obviously, you know, well, it's not obvious, but one could assume it's his vehicle, or he's trying to help somebody there to get into the vehicle. So, at the same time, right. the cops didn't have to become so aggressive themselves. Yeah, yeah, and when when we talk about de-escalation, that probably would have been a a good tactic right there to use uh, de-escalating. There's a whole slew of other things that they could have done. Uh, you know, spoke to spoke to somebody else. You know, there was a group of other yeah. people. Hey, who who is this dude? You know, oh, his that, that's Johnny Ray, whatever his name was. And you know, yes, yes. this is his truck. How long has he had? Where does he live? Whatever. And, you know, and oh, he lives right here. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, uh, we can kind of assume, yeah, that that's uh that is his truck but yeah he's under no obligation to to give the cops and, and and it to me you know if i rolled up on that and and like you said he's he's still trying to get into the truck right in front of the cop uh you know most most car thieves would probably you know see the cop oh shoot and I'm, I'm out and, exactly yeah. yeah 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 but you know that didn't happen here and, and you saw how it all how it all spilled what, what do you think about the the whole the whole tussle of uh of uh trying to affect that arrest up on the porch and and people jumping in. Well, that big guy, he's putting himself in danger at the same time, because <laughs> fortunately he didn't turn around and you know do something to him, being that he's touching an officer while he's trying to at the same time you know go on with what he thinks he's doing his job, even though in this case it seems to be in the wrong. But you know you don't need to at the same time put yourself in that predicament. The bigger guy yeah, was trying yeah, to. Yeah, see, it seemed like he off. realized that at the last second. He's yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this 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 could end it, it, it with my life being ended right here. So yeah. let me let me yeah. back off of that. But you know, we always tell people, even if you think the cops are wrong, uh comply now, complain later. Exactly. That's that's yeah, exactly that's what I was getting at. Because I mean, even him, the cop could have thought that he was trying to take get at his gun yeah. by wrapping his hands around him like that. And then yep. he sort of gotten even worse. But like yep, you said, yep. I guess he realized it. <laughs> so, oh, wait, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this could end badly. Let me let me let me stop what I'm doing right here and then uh, get yeah. get on the cell phone. Maybe the cell phone will be the, the best weapon right here is, is to record yeah. this whole incident. 
pretty cool. Yeah. And and that's what that's what people were doing. So uh wanted to show both sides of this this video. And uh, you know, in, in this instance here, it looks like the cops probably could have could have used a different tactic and 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 this whole situation may not have transpired. But again, if you think the cops are wrong, comply now, complain later. Yeah, I mean, like um, like I said, some some of them come up too aggressive. Many many years ago, um, I was pulled over uh, by two cops, and I pulled over into a parking lot. I didn't want to park out on the street because it was a pretty heavily trafficked street. And one of them came out, you know, what are you doing? You you a hole this this and that. And I was like, I was thrown aback. And then the other cop came on the other side who was more calm, and I just in my head, I just said, you know what, let me concentrate on this guy instead, instead of the one that's, for whatever reason, irate and, and you know, very out of control. And so it turned out okay, because again, I, I paid attention to the one that was calm, who was really trying to see what the situation was, or just trying to get us to why they stopped and, and ignore the other guy, which I guess somehow no. settled him. Now, how did yeah. the, how did the, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. How did the calm cop deal with his partner being a little irate? Did he calm him down or did he yeah, say anything once, to him? Or? Yeah, because uh, he said, yeah, yeah, he, pretty much he said, I, I got it. You know, I got it because uh, he asked me for my license, registration. Here, here you are, here you are. And the guy was still kind of upset outside the vehicle because I never got off the vehicle. And... You know, so he just backed off, but he still seemed like he was ready to do something. But I completely ignored him and just paid attention to the one that was, you know, calmer and actually talking to me. So, yeah, it's know. unfortunate because people don't realize that, you know, cops, cops are human, too, and they have bad days. Uh, just like, you know, you may go into a restaurant and get bad service or you may go to a into a business and, you know, and that that bad employee uh, in any any walk of life. But, you know, when it happens with a police officer. Yeah, things can escalate and, and things can, you know, lo uh, you know, go where people lose their lives or lose their liberty. So I can understand yeah. that. But, uh, you know, give a little grace. And in this case, you know, his, his partner intervened and it, it didn't escalate any further. He said, I got this. And yeah. And, and, and you're here to talk to me about your whole situation today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, got, <laughs> yeah. got the ticket and went on my way and that was it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on. This was this was a quick and easy one, but uh, I love getting perspectives from from other people, and and uh, that's what this whole thing is about. And uh, let's learn today. The moral of the story today is, uh, you know, compl uh, comply now. Play later. Play later. Play later. <laughs> All right. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> it makes All it right, easy brother. for everybody. Yeah. Yep. Easy you're for not, everybody. You're, you're not endangering yeah. your life, and no one, you know. You go on about, and whatever the case is, like you said, complain later. Yep. And either you're right or wrong, or I'm right or and I'm, you know, I'm right or wrong. One of us is wrong at some point. Yep, or right. No doubt. All righty. Facts. All right, brother. Appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. Peace.